CD can be about a lot of things. Uh, I think it's it's really good because uh, it can be interpreted across a couple different mediums. You have the literal sense, which is the deliberate breaking down of a society from the beginning to end, or you have the metaphorical sense, where it could be spiritual, emotional, or really however you can put it. And that's uh, something I really like. Something that goes from beginning to end. Uh, it's just a really full concept, and I appreciate every bit of it. The Hegelian dialectic is about the rise and fall of civilization. Basically, it tells the tale of the creation of the universe and uh, uh, from a singularity splitting into a, a duality which, which then creates good and evil. And uh, that is where man's choice lies. And uh, we've seen throughout history that man usually chooses the latter as opposed to the former. Um, so what this CD is commenting on is how mankind has conducted itself thus far. The CD in and of itself is a metaphor for the rise and fall of civilization. Because if you're listening to the CD, the beginning and the end will mesh together and you will just end up listening to the CD over and over again. And that, in turn, is the nature of mankind is to begin and to end and to start over again and usually we have a pattern of history repeating itself everything about this cd is great i mean from the very beginning to the end it's just non-stop the riffs are just fast it's very exciting yeah Uh, that's, that's actually a pretty good story too. Uh, I was uh, talking to Anthony online about how I can receive uh, the drum software to make our own drum beats to the, the stuff we were working on as, as what I was doing. And uh, it sparked this whole thing where maybe we could use the program drums from him and uh, he could record us and make the CD from there and then that just kind of invigorated a whole slew of things where the idea of a, of a George Orwell Live could happen again, and that, to me, was really exciting. Well, um, one day, Mike came to me and he said, Yo, man, I think we can do this. And then I said, What? And then he said, Yeah, man, I think we can do this. And then I said, Well, well, how, how are we going to do this, man? We don't have a drummer. And he said, Well, Anthony from Pathogenic said that uh, he would be able to do it uh, with, with digital drums. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, motherfucker, it's 2013. And then I said, all right, man, let's do it. You know what? Fuck it. I got to write a whole CD. Give me a minute. And then I finished it. And he said, wow. Working with Anthony Lusk Simone um, was really a treat, actually, um, because sometimes when you get in the studio, you en you encounter uh, some uh, some self confidence issues. Um, but with Anthony, you know, he really makes you feel like you matter. Working with Anthony was great. He he, he did not hesitate to get to the point, he told you exactly what he felt about the tracks, and if something sounded good, and it sounded good, if something sounded bad, he told you to do it again. And uh, he offered a lot of great uh, feedback on what we should change, what we should add, what we should do. I really highly recommend working with him. He's incredible.
Working with Anthony is great. He uh, makes everything go really good. Everything sounds really good. Working with him was very easy and quick. expect nothing to happen. Honestly, I fear for the safety of school children getting out at 3 p.m. on that day. The blood will run in trees. Hide your children. Hide your children. absolutely uh, instrumental to this CD. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, he, uh, he just gives me this inspiration, you know? Um, I wake up, and uh, he's just laying there with me, you know? And uh, there's this bond, you know? Like, uh, like, like the first day that you wake up um, on, uh, for school. You know, and your mom's got got your lunch ready, and uh, you know you don't know whether it's bologna or peanut butter and jelly. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. All right, so I'll tell you what. Apollo finds his way into my room every single fucking night. Fair enough, he likes my room, my bed's pretty comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. However, it's annoying as fuck. So, I get very bored with him in my room, I throw him out of my room. It's funny to see him fall on the floor when I throw him out. That, to me, gives me the inspiration to write bass lines. What the fuck? Apollo pisses me off. And cat shits all over the place. And when I get angry, I write good music. Ice. Yes, I'm the 
Back into the 